Good day everyone, so welcome to my channel once again. So today we'll be talking about how to add a cut screen video to our game. So I've actually created this particular game here, but if you actually know very well, it's a bit difficult to be able to work with a video player inside a product engine. So for us to actually add a video here, I have created a very simple video. And the two things you'll be needing is Godot and Open shot. So open shot is actually a, a video editor, an open source video editor that you can be able to use to create any video. So I'll quickly click here and um, go to where I have my video. And that's the video I've actually made for this work here. So you can add music to it, but I won't add music to it to, to make it a bit simple. So um, I won't go into details on how the feature works for those go straight to thing. So I'll just drag this inside here. Now, if actually, if you look at this video that we have here, let me just go to my file. It's actually an MP4 video. Now, this MP4 video, you can't be able if you put it inside a photo editor, it's not going to work. So you must have to use open to so convert it. So to do that, when you bring it in here, you can just go to file convert and go to export video so when you go to export video uh, I'm going to call this my space runner uh, call this space runner video let me call it 2 I'm going to click here and go to the link where I want it to be I want it to be my video so I'm going to select the folder so it's going to be this. So I'm going to check this. Now this is the most important part of this video. So if you don't do this, it's not going to work. So you have to go to your target, go to this, and you select the last thing here. Okay. So maybe I'll, I'll put a link to download open shots of the editor. And once you select this, you can just take this to medium, so it's rendering very fast. So I will just quickly go and click. On a sport. So once I do that, my video should be coming up here very soon. Alright, so our video is it has finished here. So we'll have a space runner web webm. Okay, that's the video we're going to use. So I'm going to just copy the link here. I'm going to uh, bring this file into Google Engine. So I have here where I have my videos, I already have one video I've used before. So I'm just going to drag this down and bring it down here, bring it up. This is uh, the first way of being able to transfer a video. Now if you didn't use something that is compatible, you see that it will actually appear in this place, okay? So now to go into adding a cut screen, I'm going to just go ahead and click on this here. I'm going to add a 2D screen scene and I will go to add child mode and I'll add a video player. I add a video player. Now the video player. So I'm going to uh, add this video to it. So you have your video player here and this is the inspector. So from here, my file system here, I'm going to drag this my space runner video to into uh, this string. So um, and I'm going to just expand it. So I'm just going to expand it this way. Okay. So now you can hit on auto play, but let me show you something here. I'm going to save this. Go to my scenes. I'll call it my cut screen two. I already have one there. So once I save it, I can be able to run it and you see something happen here. You can be able to play this my video. So but fortunately it's not on auto play yet, so I'm going to just turn auto play. You can have to actually uh, write the script for turning it on. So once I do that, it plays the video. So you can actually get a real video and make it your cut screen inside the Alright, so that's the video that I actually have here. Okay. 
So um, now to be able to make it to because I want it to be able after a while it should go into the uh, splash screen here. So I will say uh, once there is timeout. Okay. So let's say I will allow this video to play. Let me see how many minutes this video uh, actually plays. So I'm going to play it and it has about 15 seconds. So that's the video here. So I'm just going to quickly go back here again and uh, inside my go dot. I'm going to add a timer node. Now in my timer node, I'm going to make this to be about uh, let's say 14 seconds. So I'm going to do that 14 seconds and I will tell it to auto start. Alright, so now I'm going to add, uh, let me call this my pot screen. Two. So I'm gonna add a script to this. Now remember we're using video scripting for everything. So we want this uh, video to change to the splash screen once the, the animation has actually the cost screen video has actually finished. So we we'll use video scripting here. So I'm gonna call this cost screen uh, two and I'm going to make sure that it's saved in the proper place. So I have my script folder. So I'm going to save it right inside it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this timer node and I'm going to go to notes here, go to my timeout. So I'm going to use a signal. So with the signal, I can be able to connect this to my cut screen. Okay, so I'm going to just tell it uh, once it's timeout, it should do something. So I'm going to do timeout. So it's going to create a function for me. So uh, we'll go into details in a larger course. For this particular thing so when i do that i uh, want to watch this timeout it should change the scene so i'll go to change oh uh, sorry i'll go to scene sorry i'll right click and type scene and i'll use my scene tree and my scene tree i'm going to drag this out and i'm going to go to change and I'll use change screen scene and I will right click again and type resource and I'll get my resource part now uh, the resource part will actually be what we're going to use to uh, include the scene that is going to change it so I'm going to click on the resource part here and uh, really go to my inspector here and click on my part and my part I'll go to the scene that I want to change into and I want to change into my, uh, I think I will have to use my splash screen and click open. So it's now here. So that means that I can just connect this, meaning that uh, once this thing starts, we want, once it's timeout, you it should change the scene. Looking at the, from this scene tree, that's the tree of scenes that we actually have, and what you should change to is this particular one. So that's all we can get to do. So I'm just going to run this from here. Right click and play this. And once it plays, we're going to just wait for it for a while. And it turns into my, my scene now. This is my splash screen. Okay. So you can actually come you can press enter and again. So that's my splash screen over here. Let me show you here again. Alright. So now another thing I want to just add here to this uh, video is what about if you wanted to click a button you don't you don't want to actually want that cut screen, you can be able to actually change it. And how you can change it is this. So I'm going to just add a uh, process uh, function from here, okay. In my process function, I'm going to add an action. Now, in my action, here I'm going to give a condition. Uh, I will give a condition and say if this thing is first, okay, it should change uh, the scene automatically. So, I'm going to get this scene again. So all the things I actually have, I'm going to it right here again. 
So this means that if I should press the button that will be there, it's still going to change it even if it's not true. Uh, I'm using two things to change it now. I'm using my timeout to change it and I'm also using my uh, button to change it. I'm going to set the button very soon. So I'm going to select this. I don't have to do it again. So I'll just put this here. So I'm going to select this button and I think I will want to make it the let me make it the asset button here to the enter key. So I'm gonna save that and I'll run this again. So this means that I can press any button. Uh, I can press uh, the enter key. So if it's plain, I press the enter key, it enters into the game itself. Let me do that again if you didn't get that. I think I just held it, that's the reason I'm that. So I'm just going to press once and it enters into this. So it will not be able, it won't wait for the uh, whole video to actually finish playing. So um, I think that's just it. And um, if you want to add uh, maybe something telling it to say, uh, click any button, click the enter key to move on. So I can just add this and say label. So in my label here, I'm going to type uh, uh, press the enter key the enter key to start the game all right so uh, i think i have that here so uh, let me see if i can be able to make this now i'll make another uh, uh, video on working with text so I can just put that here. I want to actually work on this, but um, I think I'm missing something over there. So I'm going to put this here, and once I run this again, I will have this. So once I press the enter key, it starts the game. So uh, that's all for today, and um, maybe in another tutorial, we're going to do uh, something more on working with text and uh, making a much more uh, robust video game thank you for watching and try to I, I want you to subscribe to my channel like the video share it and uh, especially all those who love video scripting who want to be able to create uh, something wonderful with video scripting this is the channel you should actually subscribe to so thank you very much and uh, see you some other time